The foundation of a cut shank streamer starts with a long streamer hook like this Lightning Strike ST5 in size 6. Begin by getting the full bend of the hook firmly secured deep in the jaws of your tying vise. Using a pair of wire cutters aligned with the point of the hook while tightly holding the shank, snip it free from the bend. This can be a little dangerous and eye protection is highly recommended. You should be left with the full hook shank length as well as the eye. If you're using a bead or a cone head, slip it on the shank now, then secure just a small amount of the shank in the jaws of your tying vise. Don't worry about the orientation of the bead or the cone at this point. I have a special set of regal shank jaws which center and hold cut shanks magnificently. I'm going to use a Gamakatsu size 8 octopus hook to go with this shank and 30 pound test Power Pro braided line to connect it to the shank. A cauterizing tool works great for cutting braid. Fold the braid roughly in half and give the folded over end a tight little twist. This will make it much easier to insert it from front to back through the hook eye. You can then feed the bend of the hook through the loop and pull the loop up so it seats around the shank behind the hook eye. Get your thread started on the shank then form a thread base all the way back to the vise jaws. Pick up the hook braid assembly and leaving about a hook length and a half of braid between the hook and the shank, secure the braid evenly to the top of the shank with tight wraps of tying thread. Then double it back and secure that for a ways before snipping the excess off and binding it down. Use a segment of Rosenbauer tape to pin the hook down on the vise so as not to impale yourself. A coating of super glue applied to the shank will ensure the braid won't pull free.